Our forefathers just a mere century ago would see us today as gods. But yet, in all our abundance, we didn't expect a single global event could divide the world. Perhaps our instinct to survive finally turned us against each other. As politicians consolidated their powers, the elites counted upon their wealth for salvation, retreating as if in preparation for what's to come. In the absence of leadership, we turned to anarchists for a change. But instead, we burned our world to the ground. We wanted to start over, but all we did was choose one dictator over another. Nations, heritages, cities we once knew fell before our eyes. The rise of anarchy swept through the world, one continent at a time. Smaller nations were left in ruins. Still, others survived. Behind the quiet walls, they contemplated their future. Soon after, a new unity was formed. From the ashes of the ruins, they rise. Those who seek to restore order. The GSF intends to bring peace, good old-fashioned means of might and fortitude. Rebuilding broken worlds, with heart for the people, punishing those who seek to harm the innocent. The elites of the old world, returning from their exile, developed far ingenious means, rejuvenating the world with science and innovation. Cold and efficient, both in combat and principle, and when necessary, blood is often replaced with steel. But make no mistake, the distrust of the past still haunts both divides. In this new frontier, only one will prevail. The victor will shape the world as they see fit. The question is, who do you fight for? Wow, that intro really gave me some chills there, and after watching it, it really gives me some vibes from the Command and Conquer universe, which I'm a huge fan of, as that was the game series I really grew up on. The Grain Trade Center in Vienna was the 17th urban bombing in four weeks, blamed on Nod terrorists. The Security Commission remains in close session tonight following Nod terrorist actions in Slovenia. At least your mother tipped well. Harsh, unforgiving wilderness. With that said, I've had my eye on this game, Xmas Sees the Frontline, for quite some time. But what is it? If you read this theme store page for it, it goes a little something like this. Xmas is a FPS RTS hybrid that focuses on squad based combat. The game features an intense 5v5 multiplayer experience with each team compromising of four squad officers and one commander. So it's a FPS for four officers and a RTS for the commander who is selected at the start of a match or randomly selected if no one chooses to be one. The FPS part of it gives off some Command & Conquer Renegade vibes. RTS part is your base building RTS game where most games are fighting over valuable resource nodes and flat captures and the like. The way they blend together is what really makes this game though. Having good officers and a good commander will bring your team to victory every time if you guys communicate with each other. Shown in the intro video at the start of this, uh, there are two main factions, and the normal game mode is where they face off each other in a point capture system with three flags. If you get two, the enemy team starts to bleed points, three and it bleeds faster. As an officer in the FPS uh, portion of the game, you have multiple faction uh, unique weapons at your disposal and even battle suits. Battle suits uh, give unique abilities that can help give you the edge in a fight. I personally enjoy the Ace Battle Suit for GSF, as it gives you increased mobility, a robot swarm attack, and a Thorask jump into the sky and slam the ground move that does damage and lets you get into places most others can't. For weapons, there are a multitude of them with some being better at some things than others, such as hitting armored units, uh, some are hitting or better for hitting light targets, and there are bigger weapons such as rocket launchers or other things similar to that that are used for killing armored vehicles like tanks and APCs and such. 
To get started in this game, I had a buddy join me to do some of the pre-made defense battles where we were giving an objective like in this one to defend these same sites so the enemy can't destroy our large artillery. Heads up, a target Watching the starting videos in the tutorial section of this menu uh, gave me a basic picture of how to run as the commander, uh, but as most of you may know, it doesn't quite tell you everything you need to know. And as you can see, uh, some things you just have to learn on your own by doing them. Uh, it took us three attempts, but we finally passed that challenge. The main key points that I took away from playing those early starting games uh, is getting the resources early is crucial for setting yourself up for success. Along with this, getting tech and defenses up before you need them usually helps a bit as well as we had a tank. Uh, the first two runs run right into our main base, and we didn't have much of a response for it. After finally getting our feet a bit wet, we added one more to the party and tried a different game mode. With three out of the five officers being player controlled and being on mic with them, we were able to strategically own the map and the AI. Speaking about the AI, after looking at some old reviews of the game, I noticed a lot of dislike for the AI as being too easy or too predictable. Playing this re-release version of the game, I don't see many of the problems others put up. The AI officers will completely stomp on your face if you give them time or positioning, moving units with an attack order, and they will stop and find cover once engaged with an enemy. Officers will actively capture flags and resource nodes. This is still an alpha, so there are still some rough patches, but I believe not anywhere close to previous versions of this game. Speaking about the previous versions of this game, there is actually quite a bit of drama uh, going with the developers in this game. I won't go into the details of this, as someone before me has already put out a video that explains this a bit more better in detail. I will go ahead and link that here down at the bottom. After losing our third teammate, me and my remaining friend decided to join some custom games as officers to see how PvP goes in this game. Here is some gameplay showing it here. So right here, me and my friend decide to concoct a plan to take the resource points on the way to A. Uh, that way we would group up and get those resources for our commander to use to bring in better stuff for us. And that way we can be at A in case the enemy is there as a group, if uh, they bring uh, some people there as well, which they end up doing. Fast forward a bit, and we've just captured A, and we're moving towards the resource point uh, that is nearby when we engaged one of the enemy officers. been taken from us. They are capturing one of our resource points. So notice here one of the enemy officers uh, gets down and the other one retreats so that he can safely call down his battle suit hop in it. So likewise me and my buddy drop back for a moment to equip ours as well. A victory point has been taken from us. All in all, I would highly recommend this game to anyone who enjoys FPS games or even RTS fans. The way the developer Amabox Studios combines these two genres, I feel they have created a real gem of a game with RTS being a bit of a dying genre and FPS as popular as ever, they've created a game with some good substantial meat. With the game recently out on Steam for early access, now would be a good time to pick it up and try it out for yourself. The devs are very responsive on their Discord and are actively improving the game.
And what with the timing of this video, most people are probably still sitting on their stimmy checks, so why not pick up the game to see for yourself what all the action is about? Thanks for watching my video on Xmas Sees the Front Line. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video if you want to see more Xmas videos. I will be sure to drop a link to the game and developer discord channel. So for this video I am going to go ahead and do a comment giveaway. What that is going to mean is go ahead and leave a comment on this video, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, as long as you have a comment here I will go ahead and put you in the running to get a free copy of this game via a steam gift code in the description of the video for you to check out. See you all on the battlefield.